Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Tomb Raider. Let us continue. So they let, last episode, the guys, the computer guy, go back to the crash of the ship that we arrived on with, like, no protection whatsoever. And... Somehow we was... Somehow they thought that was a good idea. Here we're getting the ringing of a bell because there's a tomb right there. Maybe with our new bow we can open this tomb now. Damn, no. I can't do that yet. Still missing the equipment. So instead because I know I'm missing some equipment, since they're making it blatantly obvious. Uh, I'm going to just continue with the story until I get that equipment. You can always come back to this area, and this area in particular is done. So now we can shoot ropes directly into craggy rocks, which is a whole new twist on the game, really. And it would have been cool, rather cool, if that had been the case um, throughout the game that we've been running into situations where craggy rocks would have made for better paths, but it's really not the case. They're supposed to be shooting me? I don't think I am. If, if I'm supposed to be shooting, not with that. We never did find the map. That's what I'm most looking for right now. I'll tell you one trick you want to do when you do this is you want to try and aim your arrow as high as possible. Because if you hit in the bottom section, you're going to end up climbing some more. And... Okay, Reyes, I'm getting close to the endurance. What do you need exactly? Alex, we were getting worried. I'm going to need a breaker bar and the rest of my kit. I can't fix this boat without them. All right, I'm on it. Lara is heading your way. You should wait for her. Lara? No. No, I got this. I'm heading in. Going radio silent. Alex, what are you doing? So this was the, one of the ways you could have gone, at least. Still trying to get that achievement. I'm not being cruel to animals just for the fun of it. I'm doing it for for the achievement, for the experience. Which, frankly, if this was the real world, would hardly be a valid justification of my actions. <laughs> Did I miss something? trick here, the salvage falls down, so I have to go back down to get it. See a couple things down there, let's start up here. Region is hunted out, so now I'll only get like one experience. I love this little reality bending curve I can do. Nothing higher. See something down there. What is this GPS? 
location. There's something. There's a, another one over there. And the GPS cache is right here under my feet. I don't know how you would really do that without... I guess if you were just here, you could probably just jump up and get addled. If, you, if that's really a word. What's the safe way down? Question now. Mm. Singed around the edges. What happened to your owner? Oh, this is sad. There's a name on the tag. Millie. Millie. Inherently, there is that problem on this island. If you start to think about it, which I probably recommend you don't think about it too much. If there was anybody Unless you're just saying that there's a ridiculously high amount of crashes on this island bringing men over. There has to be um, some form of propagation going on too. But there might not be because they were pretty much burning every single woman they got their hands on. And all of them in. So, uh, it's an interesting Point. Was this actually used as a headrest, or was it part of a larger statuary set? I'll research it if I ever get out of this place. So, her pockets are going to be full of junk, in other words. Uh, unless she's just not picking those things up. She's just looking at them, gaining knowledge. Which would be kind of silly. You would hope she was collecting them. Yeah, so I hadn't thought about it, but this really is like a 100% male-only society. So, is the fact that it is completely brutal and barbaric supposed to be some statement? I don't know. I mean, it's rather strange times. So it'd be hard to buy into that thought. Sure, society's gonna become brutal if, it's, if there's a maniac running around killing everybody and running it like a dictator. Alright, so I think we see what we're doing here. That was way easier than the other one. The other slide and jump we had to do. That's... Plant that there. So we have a way back. get everything? We missed the GPS cache. Let's go this way. Is this really gonna work? I guess it will. So what they say? What's going on up there? Half the time she does it. 
killed anyone in her way. Damn, seriously? Who the hell is she? I don't know. I think she came in with that new wreck. She killed Vlad during the roundup. What? She killed one of the Russians? Not just one. She took out Dmitri and Nikolai, too. Holy shit. Has anyone told Boris? He's running over the salvage hop on that ship she came in on. I don't think he knows what's going on. He finds out his brothers are dead? Yeah. Glad I ain't on that crew. The big son of a bitch is gonna lose his mind. Okay. So we have three guys. And I wanna pull them off the edge. Get over here! And it didn't work. Guy right there? I guess I wasn't. I, I thought that was the guy. Alright. We'll come over here. Salvage this. the bow parts. That's why we're, why we're searching these salvage crates. It's just so we get all the parts. So mine. Here's a can. The other thing we were doing, we only have one more of those. about half a, half the distance. <laughs> Rifle parts. That's nice. Take a look around. Rock. Uh, no more mines. Not really surprised. I doubt they put all the mines so close together. Ooh, this one. I remember this one. That's pretty cool. Probably should have been more of that in the game. Just fall 
and then hit X. Take a nice look all around again. Okay. Take our shotgun. Shoot that. Now. Climb up. 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 Climb up. Now we have a new skill point. Where have all the children gone? That is... This is getting... Getting bad. Another name carved faintly into the wood. Coco. Now you're like... There were kids on some of these boats. And... Either the kids grew up to be these nasty people. Or they got killed. That's really all you can say. Let's just fall. There we go. Still running out of bullets quite fast. That should do it. What the hell are we gonna tell the enforcers? Don't worry about it. We'll say he lost it. Jumped to his death. But you shot him. Details, man. They aren't ever gonna find his body. God damn it, brother. Why'd you have to do that? He wouldn't shut the fuck up. It was driving me crazy. Sun Queen this, Sun Queen that, all that goddamn praying and chanting, I couldn't take it. You could have just knocked him out. I lost my temper. The place brings it out in me. Yeah, but you gotta control that shit. Just keep your mouth shut about it, alright? Fine, fine. Okay. So they kill their own guys, even. So if I do something I like that... Help! It just, it doesn't even work half the time. She's killing us all! Definitely right about that, I am just killing them all. updated I'm getting more things I'm not even finding the things I'm looking for so notice this thing is also surrounded by rope which means I'm not gonna hit it with the pickaxe I want to push it 
down. I might actually have to. There. We got her! Come on, move in! You're going down! Missed it, pick this up, and then jump back to this. Do that other tomb. I would love to do a tomb right now. <laughs> this one seems shaped to be slightly more comfortable. Kind of suck if that was the tomb. Wouldn't even really. That would be the least tomb like tomb ever. That's a bunker. Alright. So we want to jump and then press X. Wow, barely made that. This big open area in particular that we're running around right now, not the exact area I'm in right now, but just the shore in general, feels overly ambitious. Uh, but it also feels like they're engine just doesn't handle it very well. The so one of the things I'm going to be looking forward in, well, in the sequel, Rise of the Tomb Raider, is that if they are going to do large areas, their engines can handle it. It could be either way for me. I'm not going to be super picky. I'll say if they want to keep all the areas relatively small, fine. Uh, I might complain about it a little bit, but probably not that much. But if they do big areas, they've got to really get it to work. It's got to be smooth, no hitchiness, no problems. This giant bullet. What's this thing? Why 
Why would there be a thing like that? There's a picture of two girls. This wallet belonged to a father. She's not even looking at the picture. The names on the picture, Millie and Coco. I found their toys. What happened to this poor family? Okay, and that's US dollars sticking out there. I wouldn't think very many uh, families on boats would get trapped on this island. It seems like the island's far enough away that most people would be taking luxury cruises near it. For an American name, Coco is kind of strange. Millie, not super popular, but it wouldn't surprise me if there's, I'm sure there's plenty of Millies running around. One of the things I don't think I mentioned, oh yeah, I have the command rifle, uh, which doesn't make any sense, that it's just going to blatantly change into a better weapon. Uh, one of the things I did mention, did, haven't mentioned, to improve the graphics on that thing is now I have both overclocked and overcooled in it. If that's a real word, which it probably isn't, um, my GPU, my graphics kit, I have it set to turn on the fans to max at a very low temperature, basically at any temperature whatsoever, just keep it cooler, uh, which will definitely wear out the fan eventually. But I don't know when that's going to happen. I guess we'll take cartography. Treasure maps and tomb entrances. So now I can find treasure maps with my cartography skill, which means I can now then use the treasure map to find everything else. We only have two more skills we need. We aren't that far from the game. Uh, we aren't that close to the, the end of the game that that would be accurate. I think part of that is the DLC stuff. Uh, frag grenades? Okay. Uh, each DLC gave me an extra point, so I have like three or four extra skill points already. Scope. Nice. That will certainly help with the mines. And a silencer. Let's see. Slightly reduced damage for a silencer on that. Hmm. Okay. This is cool. the research facility were they sent here to investigate the storms the flooded facility is the tomb the power's still on how is that possible that's a good question well I just electrocuted the water so if there was any thought of Swimming over, that was gonna happen. It's alright, we needed power to open the door. Got to be a way across this water. I can't help but think this again would have been one of these. It's gonna be one of those scenarios where, as a somewhat bad player, you're gonna see me get electrocuted quite a lot.
walk up to it, but it, oh, hey. You know, so that there's a barrel right here telling you that's what they want you to do. Counterweight. That's just attached there for a quick exit, and that's where we need to go. So inherently, you'd think your first thing you're gonna do is use this to paddle your way. You could probably get a long piece of wood and just paddle this thing. Almost certainly you can get away with that. But it's not how this puzzle is solved. This one too is, is a little less actually in the right places and a little more um, there must be a safe way to cross mm. that raft it's a little more random and even getting too close to the water is dangerous the raft to get off across to get across the a little bit but there's more to the trick than just that and you could get to this section and you'd be like oh no there's nothing here I can do this wasn't what I was supposed to do but it was there's just more to it Walk in the water just fine. And of all the filthy water I've waded through, this is probably some of the cleanest. ancient tomb and they just built the facility into it, I suppose. <sighs> tomb has been raided. In general, and I got the relic map, which is nice. Because that means I can now look for treasure maps and such and continue in general I think this is a good idea we have to for Tomb Raider as a series they need to broaden out the concept of what a tomb is 
you can't just have <laughs> you can't just have the whole game be the same style ancient tombs uh, or even different style ancient tombs happening over and over again it's not uh, it's not going to give enough flexibility for the series to continue so yeah we can have modern reinterpretations of tombs we can we can even have modern tombs uh, you just have graveyards really and mausoleums I, I don't know how you that would actually be kind of funny is if she rate quote unquote raided a tomb by just uh, digging up a grave somewhere let's not jump too far Still way too much walking just to get to and fro the fro from the from the entrance to a platoon to the exit of a tomb. It's way more there and I think that is more indication that their engine their ambition here to have this huge area is just not going to just didn't work well and they should have cut it back, taken about half of this area and put it in a different place, because uh, there was certainly space for it. If we zoom out on the map, I mean, there's almost certainly going to be some spaces here where you could have, like, put some more, squeeze some more in there. I think this whole section's pretty, pretty empty right about there. Uh, had some smaller areas that were more open instead of all these areas that are just straight lines. Anyways, that's something to con complain about later because we are done with this episode. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name right though. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media site, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.